Welcome to tutorial three, which is page decorating. Now I do find this easier if I've already done some prep in advance. So what I've done is I've fussy cut out all the digitals, fussies that you get. I've also added to that from our first words, the pink version of the first words. I do like these because some of them are actually a bit more modern. Like you've got step mum, step mom, step dad, brothers, sister, sisters, best outfit, favourite toy, playmates, my name is, I was born on, playtime. You've also got things like um, first summer, first autumn, first fall. People have a choice. Like I know that by the time I have my third child, I cannot remember the, the first tooth or the first words. That would be an opportunity by having that variety to not feel quite so guilty. I've also made up some of our teddy bear fussy envelopes which come in the colourways that you're looking for, blue or pink. Used our basic envelope template printed onto double printed papers and cut those out. If you're wondering about the edging, I've edged everything with the Victorian Velvet Distress Oxide. I've still got some edging to do. If you've never seen edging being done, I will do a quick demo of that. I've got lots and lots of envelopes, some of which I might remove the tops and make them into pockets because that's a quick way to make pockets. I might use summer's flips, that type of thing. But I also have already pre-prepared is some base papers these would fit the actual pages and then to go with that i have also cut slightly smaller the actual papers and i've also got some photo mats thinking in terms of a month i've done 12. the first thing i want to do though is something i haven't cut down which is the very very inside front cover it's already got its mat on the white mat so i'm going to be cutting this piece of paper to fit inside that white mat because i've edged all my patterned papers i'm going to edge this one as well i use this is a wine bottle cork and that is actually a furniture protector pad i find these are not as soft so they get you a stronger color on the edge and extra bonus it's cheaper than buying the actual foam pads that so all we're doing is going along the edges of the paper all the way around circular motion and adding a bit of color and that just frames our digital paper because i'm using the same color throughout it gives a continuity so if one of the backgrounds is beige or yellow for example not that any of these are by having that pink border you've brought them all together i chose not to edge the white card that this is going on to but you could do using old book page because then you can just throw it away or add it to a scrap pile going to add some glue stick on the majority of it get my fine glue which i left open accidentally i'm going to do the fine glue around the edge right i have to now try my best to line something up before I burnish that down, I'm just going round the edges initially with the tissue paper so that any glue coming out of the edges is picked up and doesn't ruin the background. Because we've got the photo mats and also some words, I was thinking about doing a good size pocket on here so that you could tuck those spare bits into here. I'm going to cut an inch. So now we're going to fold these in half. In fact, it might be easier if I just score at the half inch. Fold it over on that score line and of course burnish it down. And the same for the other two. We want the one that's going to go along the bottom with the peak to the outside and glue that down. 
then we have the same idea the peak to the outside and glue that just checking where the teddy bear is to make sure we're putting them on the correct sides gluing those two together same thing peak to the outside these two hinges have gone slightly over so we are going to cut those off we could probably get a tiny keyhole in there so that people know it's a pocket but we're going to have to be careful that we go roughly halfway and that we do not hit the teddy bear head so it's roughly halfway that is going to sit on this page wherever you feel like so you can go to one side I think he looks quite cute slightly to that side for some reason so that's where I'm going to put him and you're going to glue along those hinges there and put him down burnish him down what you will see is that is now quite a deep pocket and will hold quite a few of those photo mats that's the inside front cover so now we're going to start working on our pages for this album journal as I explained before we do have the white mat we also have something that's going to go over the top but before we put anything down we need to decide if we're going to do any flips pockets that type of thing because flips for example could be hidden under one of the layers we could put that envelope down and by gluing everything that way you've actually hidden the bottom of that envelope we will put the envelope onto here and that is now in position just to be added to the white card to be added to the first page what i'd like to demonstrate is even though this album is very similar you do not always have to layer everything exactly in the center of your mats you can choose to go to one side oh, we have a little teddy bear stamp we could put a little stamp on the envelope let's have a look at our words we could probably put a word on here just quickly edge around the word which hides lots of cutting sins. I was born in a little basket down here. I think that works with that background. Do I want to take that bit out on the edge of here? So it's going diagonally opposite to that teddy bear. Let's put that there. Not particularly straightly done, but it's fine. Now this will need something to go inside there just want to grab a small ruler so that we know roughly the size for this one we have scraps of paper that have been cut away when making all the photo mats and things i'm going to cover this with glue put that down cut this down corner this I'll probably just use the small one and then edge it we have I was born on here we go I wonder if he'll fit or just right so we're going to put the teddy on and then we're going to do I was born on and that is something obviously someone could write on the back that will be going into there I'm just waiting for that to be less sticky which it is now and we can I don't know which way it should go in I suppose like that open it up and that's our next page you don't have to do something on every single page you can just have clear pages there is no problem with doing that if you want them to have writing space or just cuteness like this one because I've got a really nice paper on this page, I'm putting a plainer one on the opposite page that will show. And I'm going to put one of the plainer envelopes onto that page. And it does actually have a little slit so it can 
tuck in. I'm going to put this one down, that on top, and then we'll make a quick card to go inside. I'm going to cover this one with that whole piece of scrap. Find a fussy cut and a word. I've not put that on straight at all. I don't think it honestly matters. Go back to that page that we've done. Now I've offset this because I like things to be a bit different and we can put that in there. There we go. Could do a bit of decoration up here. Piece of paper like contrasting. We've got this. We could cut this down. What you can do is give them some prompts and then they can use them as they wish. I'm going to glue that up there and I'm just wondering if I do have any kind of small fussy cut. I know that one's in blue and probably more birthday like but cute. There we go. Another page done. 